Um, you know, we'll start with you know the basic uh, cloud production. You know, we're not we're not talking about acquiring the content and licensing it or any of that kind of stuff. We're just talking about the production side in the cloud. So you know, you have the whole production piece. Uh, you may be sending out content that's already pre-produced, which is just a single stream, or you might be running a you know a whole truck or a whole in the cloud production. Um, those can get very expensive, um, both on a opex and a capex. The once you get the live production in or pass through, then you have the video prep to get it ready for uh, you know the encoding and the streaming, and then you come up with the uh, um, delivery. So the CDN, the player, the DRM, and the analytics. That's really the, the third group. Uh, you know that that we see. So those are really the the, the major uh, chunks that we see. Uh, the only thing I'll say is, is you know, you talk about out of control. Uh, the term we use is predictability and unpredictability. Um, you know, when you're looking at cost, one of the things you want to do is you want to draw circles around predictability and unpredictability, and your predictability should stay the same. And then you know you're dividing and conquering and trying to manage your unpredictability. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, uh, Eric or Abdul. What are your thoughts? Well, I think um, I mean constant a constant load workflows where you need to process 24/7, 365. Those are the areas where, relatively speaking, you have higher costs compared to on demand, where you require a whole lot of scale on on demand. Um, there, um, relatively speaking, it's on the on the cheaper side. So just stating the obvious, but since you asked a generic question, I got <laughs> it. It is a generic question. Yes. Better, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes what people think it's obvious is not so obvious. <laughs> Eric. So to echo from a Zixi perspective in the transport world, there's certainly production. We've done some production in the cloud. We showed it at NAB where we were able to use replay and packaging and actually cut a show. But in terms of overall OPEX costs, you've got your egress, a level of compute, and then you try to manage those elements as elegantly as you can, and you're going to chip away at that. But it's uh, egress and how you architect that. Your your commercials will be a direct result of your architecture. So you also need to figure out, as John said, the predictable aspects of the cost, linear versus occasional use event-based. Um, how does one manage slates? How does one manage switching? How does one manage all the elements? Because when the lights are on, they cost money, and if the lights are off, they do not. So you try to manage that elegance and then you contrast that with the agility and customizable scenarios that you can run and use cases within the cloud. So I, I think it's part of an education. I would say that it, in the initial steps, things tend to be more expensive and we'll get into the details, but over time you, you refine that program and you milk out those efficiencies as you go line by line. 